Top 4 Tech News One Google is in hot water over video ads. Google is facing scrutiny over claims it misled advertisers about where it places video ads, and whether it violated U.S. sanctions. As reported earlier by the Wall Street Journal, research from the analytics company Analytics suggests that Google may have cost media buyers up to billions of digital ad dollars by putting ads on sites in ways that violate Google's own standards. The report centers around one of Google's video ad formats, called TrueView, which the company places on YouTube and other sites across the web, called Google Video Partners. These ads appear during videos and give viewers the option to skip the entirety of the advertisement after 5 seconds. Advertisers only pay for the ad if a viewer watches at least 30 seconds of it without skipping, or the full length of the ad if it's shorter than 30 seconds. While the journal notes that Google promises that these ads will appear on high-quality sites before the page's main video content, with the audio on, Analytics found that this wasn't the case 80% of the time based on data from 1,100 brands from 2020 to 2023. Advertisers are entitled to a refund. Instead, Analytics discovered that Google has been placing ads in small, muted video players that appear in the corner of the screen. It also found that they sometimes autoplay on a loop, without any viewer interaction or initiation, as some instances obscure the skip button. Analytics calls this a direct violation of Google's quality standards for TrueView ads and says it could have artificially inflated ad completion rates. This means advertisers might have been paying for ad views that weren't up to par with what Google promised. Two Meta's Nick Clegg on how AI is reshaping the feed. This is Platformer, a newsletter on the intersection of Silicon Valley and democracy from Casey Newton and Zoe Schiffer. Sign up here. Last July, as the Instagram feed began to fill up with recommended posts, the company was thrown briefly into crisis. The once familiar landscape of friends, family, and influencers you had chosen to follow had begun to be replaced by algorithmic guesses. Make Instagram Instagram again, opined Kylie Jenner. Many viral tweets followed in the same vein. When you discover something in your feed that you didn't follow before, there should be a high bar, it should just be great, Instagram chief Adam Masseri told me at the time. You should be delighted to see it. And I don't think that's happening enough right now. So I think we need to take a step back, in terms of the percentage of feed that are recommendations, get better at ranking and recommendations, and then, if and when we do, we can start to grow again. In addition to publishing the cards, which most users probably won't see, the company is bringing its, why am I seeing this? feature to Reels on Facebook and Instagram's Explore page. The idea is to give individual users the sense that they are the ones shaping their experiences on these apps, creating them indirectly through what they like, share, and comment on. If works, it could reduce the anxiety people have about Meta's role in shaping their feeds. 3. TikTok owner ByteDance debuts Ripple Music Creation app. ByteDance, TikTok's Chinese parent company, has debuted a new app designed to make it easier for creators to compose and edit music they could use for their content. The app called Ripple is only available in the US for now, and the company is testing it in a closed beta environment. ByteDance says it can assist creators in the way portable smart digital audio workstations DAWs, can and is perhaps most useful for beginners and anybody who'd rather not deal with more complex systems. It was also designed to make it easier for creators to add custom soundtracks to their short-form videos for TikTok and other platforms. Ripple can create songs in various genres based on a melody the user hums. The app prompts them into humming into the phone mic and then generates instrumentals they can use, such as drums, bass and piano. The length of the song output will match the length of the input, though, the app can't generate a full soundtrack from just a few seconds of humming. Also, Ripple can only generate instrumental music, leaving the vocal work to creators. ByteDance told us that Ripple's model was trained on music it owns and music that was licensed to the company. The company also said that it's committed to respecting the rights of its artists and its rights holder partners. To note, there have been concerns about the source of data used to train artificial intelligence systems and algorithms. Just recently, a lawsuit seeking class action status was filed against OpenAI. 
accusing it of violating the copyrights and privacy of countless individuals by using data scraped from the internet to train the model used for chat GPT. 4 Apple's Alien Show Invasion returns for Season 2 in August. The summer of sci-fi continues over on Apple TV+. Just as Season 1 of Silo ends and a new season of Foundation is about to begin, Apple has confirmed that its Alien series Invasion will be back very soon. The first episode of a 10-episode long Season 2 will premiere on August 23rd, with new ones dropping on Wednesdays. As part of the announcement, we also got some early images of Season 2 that include a cool spacesuit and what seems like a pretty war-torn version of Earth. Invasion originally premiered in October 2021 and told a planet-wide story about an alien invasion, letting viewers see things unfold from multiple perspectives. It took a bit to get going but eventually ended up as a great start to a sci-fi story once it got around to the actual aliens. It also left a lot of questions unanswered. It sounds like the plan for season 2, as is often the case with sequels, is to go bigger, with the story picking up a few months after the season 1 finale.